Welcome to the Building Up Women in Property podcast. I'm your host, Rebecca Bangura, and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. This podcast is for ambitious women who work in property and construction, who want to learn how to have a career they love on their terms. Join me every week where I'll leave you excited and confident to take your next steps. Thanks for being here with me. Now let's get started. Hello, beautiful lady. Thank you for being here. I have a juicy one for you today. Today, I want to talk about setting the vision for yourself in the new year, right? What does 2023 look like for you? What is this year going to be about? And I've just recently been on holidays. I took a week off to Bali with my family and I just had a week of really just relaxing, just family time. I did no work. I totally chilled out and I needed it, right? It's the end of the year. I don't know how you're feeling, but I was feeling very ratty and just tired and I needed a reset. And it's one of the things I know about myself is that I work at super speed. I'm very intense and I like that. I like working like that, but I know this about myself. I know that I need regular time out, you know, a couple of times a year to just reset and recharge and rejuvenate my my soul and <laughs> and get clear on what I want. And I need the space to do that. And that's always been a real feature for me with traveling a lot. You know, I would make that time, I would carve that time out for myself. And obviously with the last few years with, you know, COVID and also, you know, I have young kids as well. I haven't had that time. And so this family trip was really good for me to just take a step back, look at my own life, like where I am and where I want to go. And I wanted to share with you today that process because I don't think we're ever really taught how to do this. Certainly not in school, certainly not in university. Vision setting for ourselves is something that you really learn if you go down a personal development and a personal growth path. And I think this is something we should all be doing for ourselves because it is so powerful when we set that clear intention for ourselves and that vision and create a new possibility for what we want in our lives. And honestly, there is no better time than to do this. So if you're listening to this in real time, then it will be December when you're hearing this. Or even if it's not December, if it's the new year or, you know, years down the track, it doesn't matter, right? The process is always the same and you get to decide that this is the turning point or this is the start of something new and use this process to support you and to guide you to get clear on what you want and how to actually achieve that. Because I really think there are three key reasons we don't achieve what we want, right? We don't have the lives and the career that we deeply desire. And I think the first reason is that we don't know what it is we want, right? We have vague ideas or we have assumptions on what we think will make us happy, but we've never interrogated it to actually really test if that's true. Or we haven't interrogated it recently and validated that what we were working towards years ago is still relevant. So I think that first one is really getting clear on what you want. I think the second thing that really holds us back is that we just aren't prioritising the things that are important to us in our lives and in our work, right? So we're actually out of alignment with what we're doing and what's keeping us busy and our own priorities and our goals. So that's the second thing. And the third thing I think is that we just get stuck in fear. We get stuck in self-doubt. We limit what is possible for us because we get in our own heads and taking you through this vision setting process will help eliminate those three issues, right? It will give you clarity. It will help you prioritize and focus on what you want and how to make it happen. And it will move you through the self-doubt. And, you know, we all have it, so certainly don't have any shame around it, but let's just keep moving forward together so we can move into this new year clear and excited and create in this new year, in 2023, the career and the life that you want, right? We want more happiness for you. We want more impact. We want more money. We want, like, all the good things. So let's stop putting it off and let's get to work. And to help you with this process, I've actually created a workbook that you can just download and work through at your own pace to answer these questions for yourself, to get clear for yourself 
on your vision. I'll link to that in the show notes. You can go and download that and do this at your convenience. But I want to start by just saying like, create the time to do this, right? Come have some time for you to sit down and do this, to give yourself the headspace to work through it, away from distractions and obligations, whether it's popping to your local cafe for an hour or sitting under a tree or whatever it is that you like doing where you feel at your best and your calmest, I want you to make the time and do this because this is about imagining what is possible for 2023. And the one thing I know is that if you don't have a clear vision, if you don't have a clear goal that you're working towards, you won't achieve it, right? You'll just fumble along and Things will happen to you and you'll be reactive to things, but you won't be proactive. You won't be creating things at the highest possible level for you because you're stuck within the constraints of what you know and you're responding to things. And I think truly great people who have those amazing careers, who have the big impact, who have the lives that they love, they are intentional about things. They are making it happen. They are not waiting for the world to deliver something for them on a silver platter that aligns with what they want because that's not how it works. So this is about being someone who gets into action and creates the results they want. Who is that version of you who gets shit done? Who is that version of you who has the life that she wants? What is she doing? How does she show up every day? I'm guessing she shows up and does the work, right? She's not just waiting for it to come to her. So download your workbook, make the time, and let's get going. So first of all, I want you to stop and look back on the year that has been. And this is so important, not because the past dictates your future. It doesn't at all. You can have a wildly different year in 2022 to what you have in 2023. They can be miles apart. But what looking back does for us is it gives us information. It gives us data that we can then use to build on. And so I want you to think about what went well in 2022. Think about all the areas of your life, your career, your relationships, your finances, your health, your contribution, and write all those things down, big or small. What were those achievements that you had? And believe me, there will be lots of them once you start tapping into them. Think about what you were proud of and what made you happy. What were those moments that brought you joy? Write them all down and really think about it. So take that time to acknowledge what you've achieved, right? Be proud of what you've accomplished and have gratitude for that. Because the more we can practice gratitude and celebrating our wins, the more wins we will create. So don't be shy. Don't be modest. Like no one else ever has to see this, but put it all down so you can see what you've achieved. And then I also want you to move into thinking about what didn't go well. Were there disappointments? Were there things you weren't proud of or that you felt frustrated by? Get those all down on paper. Really articulate them and think about what could you have done differently? Could you have had more support? Are there situations you wouldn't put yourself in again? Think about it and not from the position of beating yourself up or regretting anything, but just as an information source so that when you encounter these situations down the track, you know how to respond. You don't get stuck in the moment because you've already thought through an alternative to push you in the direction you want to go. And then I also want you to think about what do you need to let go of from 2022? This may sound like an odd question, but so often we are stuck in our own heads. Something didn't go the way we wanted to and we keep replaying that in our minds. It becomes the story of who we are and what it does is it reinforces all our own self-doubt and It exacerbates the fear we have because we keep living in that story or that moment. So I want you to think about what are the things you need to let go of so that you can move forward into the new year with a blank, empty page, a blank, empty canvas. And once you've had that time to look back on the year that has been, I want you to start thinking about the year ahead of you. I want you here to dream big, (laughs) okay? Imagine you had a magic wand and anything was possible. What would you want? What would your career look like? What would your life look like? Imagine there are no limits. Don't worry about how crazy or out there or ambitious these goals may seem. I want you to actually just have 
fun with this and really dream beyond what you've ever thought possible. And like I will tell you from personal experience, I only was taught to do this maybe like five years ago. I was like in my mid-30s and to be honest, no one had ever said to me, what would you do if anything were possible? I'd never pondered that thought. I'd always been stuck in what was a reasonable goal for me or what was the next logical step. And I realised I just hadn't had that ability to really think big for myself. I've been so stuck in having like these realistic expectations on life. And again, like that's what we're taught in school. We are taught to take, you know, logical next steps. But the people who are really killing it in life, who are doing so well, who are happy and having big impact in the world, it's not because they are playing it safe. It is not because they are trying to do realistic things. It's because they are striving to do something much bigger than them, something that people think is impossible or something that people are too scared to even try. Those are the people that are really the game changers. They are the trailblazers. They are the 1%. And I don't know about you, but I don't want my life to be ordinary. I want my life, I want my career to be extraordinary. And that doesn't happen because you're a ridiculously talented person or because you're any better than anyone else. It happens because you are willing to set the bar higher for yourself. You are willing to reach for the impossible in the hope that you even make a part of the way, right? It will stretch you further. So again, don't get stuck in what you think is possible, right? I want you to think about what would you do if anything were possible and think about who do you want to be? What do you want to feel? And this is so important because living into the identity of who you want to be is how you will get results. You need to step into being that person who is achieving and who is living the life you want in order to create the results. You cannot do it by doing things the same way that you've always done them. You need to up level. You need to shift out of your comfort zone. So think about who do you want to be, right? What is that dream life that you are looking for? Get into detail, like actually allow yourself to imagine it, to see it in your mind's eye. So it's almost tangible, Think about what you look like, where you are, who you're surrounded by. How do you feel in the moment? What is your influence? Because the more real that is in your mind, the easier it is to step into that. What is it that you want more of in your life and in your career moving forward? And how can you make that happen? What are the little steps you could start doing straight away that would move you closer to that? And quite often, these are real simple things that we can do that will up-level our lives and propel our careers. So think about those tiny little tweaks you could start making right now. You don't have to wait, (laughs) okay? There's never a right time for these things. They're all gradual steps in the right direction. So think about what are those small steps you can take right now to have your own back and to ensure your own success. This is our one chance to go all in on ourselves, right? And to bet on ourselves, have our own back, right? To show up big in the world, And to take up space. And believe me, the world needs you to be the fullest, most expressed version of you. Having the biggest impact you can. We need more women stepping up and creating lives and lifestyles and careers on their own terms. And it will benefit not just you. It will benefit those around you. And that ripple will continue well beyond what you ever realize. So don't be scared of this. Embrace this opportunity. And think about what is on your bucket list, right? What are all the crazy things you would love to do this year? And think about how you'll make more time to do those things. And consider what are the things that you're going to stop doing? What are you going to say no to in the new year? How are you going to free yourself up from commitments and obligations that don't serve you or that drain you or keep you stuck in an identity that you no longer connect with? Or that, you know, an identity or version of you that you no longer identify with. Like, what are you willing to let go of? And then get into the nitty gritty of like, what are your top three goals for your life in 2023, right? And why are these important to you? Really articulate the importance. And then do the same for your career. What are those top three goals? And why do they matter? And what do you need in order to make those goals happen? 
And again, I want you to think through like what are all the things that could stop you from achieving these goals? And how can you preempt the issues? How can you consider the setbacks that may occur so that you can preempt an action plan that will set you up for success and actually keep you moving forward? Right? And how will you track your progress? How will you stay on track? What is your process for accountability? What is that support that you need to keep you? to keep you moving in the right direction and to keep you accountable and pushing and striving towards these big goals and these big possibilities. And that might require you investing in yourself or finding a new network or a new support structure. So think about it. Like if you were to invest in yourself this year and, you know, time and money weren't an issue, what would you do? Really think about that. And so I want you to fast forward to the end of 2023. And write down what you've achieved. Reflect on the year that has passed and what has brought you joy. What have you accomplished? What are you most proud of? And again, don't hold back here, right? I want you to really push yourself to be the most successful and happy version of you that is possible. Allow your mind to run wild here. Get passionate about what you want to have achieved by the end of next year and put it all down on paper. There is something so powerful about writing these things down. It's a declaration into the world. It's a declaration to yourself. And it creates a new realm of possibility. And from there, we can then take those next steps into creating the action plan, right? To actually diarising things and working out the specific actions we need. But it all starts with really giving ourselves the time and the space to create a vision for yourself and for the life and the results you want to achieve in 2023. And I genuinely believe we are operating at a fraction of our capacity. Most of us are so scared that we never even try. And unfortunately, we all miss out as a result. So I want you to just for a moment Set aside that fear of failure, set aside your self-doubt and just allow yourself to imagine. Get intentional, set a clear vision and intention for this year ahead of you and get energized and excited by it because from that place, that is where you'll create magic. That is where you'll create results. That's where you'll find your own happiness and your own joy and that will again spread well beyond you. It will impact all of those around you. So, Take the time, download the workbook, set the time up for yourself to really go through this and create a new possibility for yourself so that 2023 can be this amazing year for you where you achieve the career and the life that you love. Okay, my lovely, have a beautiful day and get vision setting. Bye, my friend. Thanks for joining me on the Building Up Women in Property podcast. If you're listening on Apple Podcast or Spotify, I'd love for you to take a moment and review the show if you found it helpful or share it with a few friends. Thanks again. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.